Yeah, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This video we are looking at the NBA Finals Game 1 picks for prize picks. I have six plays today. NBA Finals starts tomorrow. Let's get into it. Got a free square for Tatum. Uh, definitely want to take advantage of that if you haven't yet. Uh, let's go ahead and throw him in as the first pick. Obviously, if you already used it, you can go with the other five picks that I'm going to have in this video. Um, popular board already, you know, they have a lot of... They have some good lines here. That's why they're popular. Uh, we'll see if... Obviously, not all these are going to hit. But there's a few that look pretty good that I think you want to take advantage of. Uh, going over points, rebounds, and assists. Uh, I'm taking Derek White over 23 and a half. He's been really good this entire postseason. He's been probably one of the most impactful players on the Celtics. Uh, without him, you can make an argument they wouldn't make it to this point. Um, he's been great both offensively and defensively this postseason. Uh, and he gets you assist. He handles the ball a little bit. And Porzingis expected to be back, but he's probably going to be limited after missing a lot of time. See if they have Porzingis. His last game was at the end of April, so he's missed well over a month at this point. Uh, second pick that I have is points and rebounds. Going with Daniel Gafford. Get you at least 15 points and rebounds. His PRA line is one more. You know, if he gets one assist, then you'll be rather then you know might be you want to go with that line instead of the points and rebounds. But I think points and rebounds are probably the safer bet. Um for a guy like Gafford, not much of an assist getter. Obviously, as a center position, gets you some putback opportunities. He's getting some lobs from, especially from Luca, but Kyrie can give him some assist opportunities too at the basket and feel a little bit more comfortable with the points and rebounds for a guy like Daniel Gafford. I think the line is really low and he's going to get the minutes against a big Boston team, especially now that Porzingis is back. Going over to assists, uh, you have definitely have a couple of green goblins you can take advantage of. Both are at half an assist between Derek Lively, who gets some. And they have Derek Jones. Um, I'm going with Derek Jones just because you expect to play the more minutes, especially just with his good defense that he's able to provide, whether it's beyond Jason Tatum or Jalen Brown. He's going to have the minutes this uh, series. And they've kind of moved away from Tim Hardaway Jr. He's not really doing much this postseason. Uh, he's seeing less minutes, just seeing more minutes from Derek Jones Jr., mainly due to defense. Not much of a shooter, so hopefully he gets the ball in his hands. He'll just give it to Kyrie or Luka, and they're able to make a basket. So I think he's able to get you um, half an assist pretty easily. So that is four props. We got Tatum, Derek White, Gafford, Derek Jones. Uh, another player that's been playing well. Then PJ Washington. He played really well in the first series, not so much in the second series. His Green Goblin is only nine and a half points. I think that one is definitely one that you want to take advantage of um, if you haven't. We haven't touched on Luca yet. Uh, his lines are probably pretty appropriately priced. 32 points you need out of him. Uh, 50 PRA. Um, I like Kyrie going back to Boston. You know he's fired up. He's been playing awesome um, as well. You know, he can get hot very quickly. His lines point total at 23.5 is pretty fair, but I'm taking his over PRA at 32. He gets you points. Assist, giving you a couple rebounds, but mostly points and assists. What you expect from Kyrie. Uh, revenge spot this entire postseason, or in this entire finals against Celtics. Uh, I think he's you know, between 32 PRA for Kyrie and 50 from Luka. Obviously, Luka gives you the more triple-double upside, but I'm going with Kyrie Irving in this spot. Uh, and then the final pick that we have here, you know, if you wanted to take one of another one of the popular picks off the board, I mean... Kind of touched on a lot of the guys that we already have in here. Uh, the final pick I will be going is going over to Boston once again. Um, and we're going to be taking Drew Holiday. This time, going to be taking him, I think, 9.5 points if you want to take that free. Or that Green Goblin is pretty reasonable. Um, but I'm taking him over 23 points, rebounds, and assist for Drew Holiday. Also going to be probably the primary defender on... Um, Kyrie Irving, so whatever minutes Kyrie plays, but Drew Holiday to match. And you know, Holiday's a good defender. You saw the quote that he said um, when he was asked about defending Kyrie. You're just going to go out there and pray at times, but that's what you have to do when you're going up against a guy like Kyrie and all the moves that he has. But I'm taking him Holiday. He's been shooting better, um, taking more shots. And I feel like 
you know, the Mavs are probably going to get game plan for Tatum and Browns. Hopefully, Holiday and Derek White are able to step up. Both have this postseason. I think both can. Both lines are pretty low, PRA-wise, and both do contribute in all categories. We got Gafford taking in points and rebounds. That's what he does. Jarek Jones Jr. gets you half an assist. Kyrie fill up the stat sheet a little bit. Um, this gives you 15.4 um, X for 6 out of 6 if you want to take it. I uh, think they all look pretty good. Best of luck if you are tailing, and I will catch you all next time.